Wait, what? What's going on? Whoa! Holy crap, I'm learning the game! You do fucking man! Whoa! Holy macaron! What the fuck just happened? Apparently makeshift bridges is fucking OP as fuck? Yes it is, and so are the other 42 traits I'm gonna be telling you about today. Yeah, to start off with, you kind of need a DLC to grind, so it's called Waking the Tiger. Uh, it's on the Steam uh, store, and you can buy it there. But without Waking the Tiger, there is no grinding in Hoi 4. And yeah, don't tell Bo, but I actually kind of broke my chair by yeeting myself into it. So if you hear some cracking noises, well, you couldn't hear it there. But if you hear some cracking noises during the video, it's because I broke my chair. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna hurt. Don't be scared. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so some important things to go over before the actual grinding starts is, for example, the generals. So, basically, if you have a higher level general in skill level, he will be more likely to get the better tactic in the battle. And that is very important when you're fighting. Also, what is important when you start to pick which general you want to grind is what traits he currently already has. Um, for example, Tsukov, he has this one, army reassignment duration, not very hot. Uh, Pansel leader experience factor, pretty good. Army reassignment duration again, but promotion cost minus 50%, one nutrition. For example, you want to go over the traits the general has. It doesn't have to be a specific general, but you want to go over the traits to see how beneficial they are to you. For example, here we have Ivan Konev, minor, minus 10% experience, leader experience gain, right? Which means he will gain tra uh, traits 10% slower. That is awful. I would say don't grind this guy. Also, minus 10 recovery, but he has good like other skill levels here. So some people grind him anyhow, because you, you can finish the grinding in time anyhow with Konev, right? But um, it's maybe sometimes not worth it if you don't make any time just due to this trait. When you pick a general, you want to look at also his skill level. So when you choose the general, you want to pick a guy, for example, if you're doing tanks, right? You want to have a guy who has high attack. So you look at the skill levels. You can, for example, sort by this uh, at the top. So he shows the highest attack level or the lowest, but you want the highest, really. And, for example, if you're also going to grind Panzer Leader, you want to look for a guy that has this trait, Armor Officer. It gives Panzer Leader experience factor 100%. And what that means is that you'll grind Panzer Leader twice as fast as uh, you would have without this trait. Um... But yeah, definitely look over the traits your general has. That's very important for the grinding. But you might already be asking yourself, like, hey, I already know how to play the game. I don't need no grinding or traits or whatever to get my divisions better. But I'm just saying it's really, really good. And especially in multiplayer, you need the traits to actually win the game. Uh, if your opponent has a somewhat of a brain capable of functioning anyhow, right? So traits gives you way better stats. Traits gives you the ability to go across rivers like nothing. It gives you abilities to do stuff you could not do without him at all. For example, traits can also lead to you having, for example, less tanks in a situation. But due to you having the better general, you're able to push the enemy anyhow. That is usually the case with Germany versus Russia and Manila. That is the case, well, well basically only that time. Because that's mostly important for Germany to have the good traits. So, going over the traits you'll want to have are here. So, there are earned traits, general traits, field marshal traits, and terrain traits. So, to get any of the field marshal traits, you'll need your general to be a field marshal. But these traits under the field marshal tab is locked by you needing organizer to get to pick any of them, right? These are really good. And... Um, to get most of these traits, you'll need a certain experience amount to get them. For example, here, Pantsleader, Leader, you need 700 experience in battle from that. And basically, to get Pantsleader, Leader, your army needs to be 40% armored. I'll show that in a minute. Same goes for all the other traits. You need a certain amount percentage to get the actual trait to grind. 
uh, or you need to be attacking a certain tile or a certain terrain, you know what I mean. So basically, you need to attack with specific divisions in specific areas to get trades. What is very important to know is that for every trait you gain, you grind way slower. I think it's something about 25% slower for the rest of your trades, which is a huge chunk. So if you, for example, get 99% on a trait and you have another trait at 50% that you also want to get, you want to stop trying to get the trait that you have 99% on, get the other trait up to 99%, and then you can get both of them at the same time. This will save you a lot of time. What many people wonder is, for example, does Field Marshal steal experience in the grinding from the general? And does a general that is on routes, for example, you, I'll pick this guy right now, this guy, um, Kirill, then we'll pick another guy, and I want Kirill back again. He'll be on route. He'll still be able to grind. He'll still be able to gain experience at the same rate as before. He will just not be able to use any current trait he has. To show trait grinding in this video, I've picked the Soviet Finnish war um, to just the winter war basically to demonstrate how you would grind as Russia there. It applies to any other nation anywhere else, but I've chosen this special place here for me because I play way too much Russia and I'm way too used to this situation. So as Russia, you usually want, for example, Pansa Leader, you want Ranger. These are two traits that you want on a guy who can grind Pansa Leader quickly. For example, Rokossovsky. Uh, if you click on Rokossovsky, he gains uh, experience 100% faster on tanks. What you also want is Ranger. To get Ranger, you need to be attacking a forest tile. But you, at the same time, you want Pansa Leader. Can you do both? Of course you can. So we're going to pick Rokossovsky here. And now we have 14 divisions in this general. We will now assign 10 of these tanks. They don't need to be fighting in any battle at all. That's a myth. Uh, we assigned them to Rokossovsky's army right now. They're not going to be in a single combat. Now, look at this. We're now going to attack with two of our divisions towards these Finnish. I'll unpause the game. And we go into here. They're grinding Pansel Leader. We've got an 8 XP on that. And they have got a Ranger. Now, you see that they're only infantry in the battle, yet we're gaining the traits. Because what the trait actually requires is only for your army to be 40% armored. That means you need 40% tank divisions in your army. You could make the tanks any combat with. You could make them literally two with. So let's actually do it out here. Uh, to just demonstrate how you don't need any equipment to grind Panzer Leader at all. So here we have a Panzer that is two with. And on uh, Mr. Rokossovsky here, we had eight experience gained. Now we have two with tanks and we're still gaining, uh, gaining a lot of trade here. So this just shows that you don't need... I always see in multiplayer, I see people in Spain, when Spain, for example, wants to grind... Uh, Panza leader, right? Nationally, Spain wants tanks leader, so he wants to grind Panza leader. I always see these people attacking with like no equipped tanks into tiles here to grind, grind Panza leader. Well, what you just could do is keep 10 2 with tanks behind and fight with big infantry, and that will grind slow uh, faster. A very important thing about grinding is how fast you grind. For example, uh, you want to fill the combat with 100%. You want to fill the combat with to do as much damage to your enemy as possible. So what grinding is based off is basically how much damage you do to their HP, that is manpower and equipment, compared to what you lose. So basically, you want to have good divisions, but not too good that they break to the enemy too quickly, that you cannot grind for long enough to get the trade. So 40 width, pure 40 width divisions, I made this one. Pure 40 width, they don't have great stats, they have decent stats. Um, those will 100% push the finish divisions, but very slowly. This way you gain, gain the traits, and you, in the same way, uh, well, you'll also need this template later as Russia, for example. But it's a very good way to grind. So, for example, the setup of Russia here, you can see that I've set up very 
thinly along the line. I'm not concentrating, for example, all these 14 infantry in one area. That would be stupid because you want to maximize, maximize how much you grind. So what you want to do when you grind is attack every single tile on the front line where there's a forest tile, for example, it's Russia because I want Ranger. So I want to attack every single forest tile there is. So I'm going to do the same thing with the blue army. We're going to assign these 10 tanks here onto here. And we're going to assign, well, I'll assign Alexander. And we'll pick him for the grinding in Russia. In Russia, yes. You know. So he has good traits. Uh, well, actually, it would be actually more beneficial to pick Konev here because he has the same traits. So we're going to start grinding here. And what you want to think about as I said, attack every single tile. Very important. That way you maximize the grinding, but you don't want to push them. So make sure you stop attacking once you break the AI off the tile. And now we are attacking all the tiles. So now watch what's going to happen here. So already now, I don't know the exact date we started. I also just put it on a high speed, but what's very important is we just gained a shit ton of traits in less than a month. Basically, what is happening here is that all these guys grind Panzer Leader while attacking, and they also gain Ranger. Uh, while I'm, why I'm not using, for example, uh, Konev as a Field Marshal to grind them both at the same time that way is because it's faster to do it this way. If you want to have a field marshal that grinds quickly, you want to have him in a general first to grind him up, and then you use him as a field marshal later on. It is very inefficient to grind your general with one army and having your field marshal grinding as a field marshal, because the field marshal only gains, I believe it was, 25% or 20% of the XP. He does not steal any XP from the general. The general will always grind the same amount, but he will grind, uh, grind slower. For example, in Finland, you're limited on time. You don't have time to use him as a field marshal. So you'll bo use both your field marshal and your general as generals to grind it faster. Now, so there are ideas going around about how you should grind. That I got told the other day that, oh, you should uh, restart the battle every 24 hours. That way, you'll gain more XP. While this is true, this is so minimal in the game that it does not really matter. It does not really matter. Um, the uh, XP drop off, I'll be putting, I mean, you can look at it in the game files, but basically, if you attack a tile for five days, I believe, or something, uh, you will be down to getting 10% XP of what the efficiency is of 100%. So, for example, the first hour of the battle, I'll gain 100% XP efficiently, right? But after four uh, or five days, you will only get 10% of the efficiency of the battle. So, technically, restarting battles is good. But what you don't think of is here is that restarting the battle is a lot of micro. And, for example, here, Russia border. You have 30 divisions. You can't sit and restart battles all the time. And you're going to get the trade any out, for example, is Russia. So it's a bit up to you. For example, if you're in Germany, if you're Germany and Spain, sure, it could be more efficient to do that. Sure. But I don't think it's needed. I've never had to do it. Uh, I don't think you need to do it at all. So I just think it's people trying to maximize efficiency so much of grinding that it becomes inefficient because you have to pay so much attention to it. So that's basically my point on that. Now, for efficiency's sake, I'll be uh, speeding it up. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. Get back to work! For you guys, while I do the grinding, you'll see what I do. Maybe understand why I do it. And, uh, yeah. See you in a minute.
good way to actually grind that I forgot to mention is that you, uh, for example, if I hold this division, you click Control, Alt, and then you right click. This is called a support attack. He will now, for example, when he has pushed the division, he will not go into the tile. Uh, it's very useful for when, when you're grinding because you don't want to take tiles, you just want to push tiles. So very, very efficient for grinding. Now that you have 99% pants to leader, which 100% will grind faster um, if you have the trait, like I said, the um, uh, pan armor officer, which gives you 100% more pants to leader experience, uh, aka double the amount. So right now you have 99%, what do you do? So for example, I'm going to halt all the battles and I am now going to assign, um, I accidentally put out two divisions. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm now going to unassign these tanks. And I'll just put them in a different theater. There we go. And uh, now that we have this done, we have these 14 out of 24. What are the traits we need right now? For right now, all we need is Pansa Leader. No, Ranger. <laughs> all we need is Ranger XP. Um, so what you want to do is you grab the stacks of infantry here you have. Uh, spares, as I like to call them, I guess. And you assign them into your general. Uh, so we assign here. That's one too many. Here we go. And the rest of the boys also go in there. So now you have a couple of choices here to make. You could go very, very aggressively here. Try to push your enemy into one certain tile or something. So you can grind them faster. It's completely up to you. Um, whatever you think will grind faster, you should do it. Um, but yeah, basically, don't overdo it, right? Like, don't over push because it might cap the finish, for example. Um, but yeah, definitely like very easy now to finish Ranger because you have basically double the amount of division to grind Ranger with. And that is a really good for, uh, thing for you this early on. Um, now, getting Ranger takes, I've done it the fastest in two months is my record. Uh, with also getting Pencil Leader, that is, in an actual game. Um, it can take some time. Really depends on what the AI does. It makes weird choices sometimes. And you get to play differently. But that's also fun, so why not?
okay, so Mr. Konstantin Rokossovsky here, he was way quicker than his brother Konev, mostly because he has some divisions here guarding the north and the AI was kind of passive in the north. Oh, like I said, it all depends uh, on how the AI plays. Oh! So, right now, since we have Ranger, we can uh, take 10 divisions again. Uh, I'll grab any of them. There we go. Pull them out of the general. And we put in 10 tanks. And like so, we will get Pencil Leader in a sec. There we go. So now you already have two very important traits. You have Ranger, who gives 10% attack and defense and Forest Hulls, 5% movement. Not as important, but definitely good. And you also got Pencil Leader, 10% attack, 5% speed. You also want to go for the defense, or if you're doing... <laughs> nah. Go for the defense, trust me. But basically, this is really good for your general. A very, 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 now I mean very, uh, good thing to also get it in Finland, for example, is Trickster. All you have to do is attack from three sides. All you have to do is read the traits for what you need to take uh, or do to actually get it. Uh, for example, here in Trickster, you just need to attack from three sides. Uh, attacking from three sides is very easy. There are a lot of tiles, for example, in Finland and in Spain and wherever in China, wherever you're grinding, you have plenty of tiles where that is the case. Why you definitely want it, at least on your general, um, as uh, Russia or Germany, both of them kind of want it. You don't need it as Russia, but it's very good to have because uh, if you lose the river you, uh, or if you want to push across the river, you're defending. Um, for example, it's very good to have because you get Improvisation Expert. Improvisation Expert is the best land trade in the game, basically, if you exclude Adaptable, right? And why I'm not going to grind another trade here, for example, a like Windsor Specialist, which you could just start with uh, by having uh, Mr. Um, what's his name? What's his face? Tsukov. Yes, if you grind Sukov, you can get adaptable purely from having uh, Winter Specialist as the start at the start, and you get Ranger along the way. He's a bit slower to grind, but that's fine. Uh, getting adaptable, which is the best trade in the game, it's definitely worth it if it's a bit slower. But here's the case: uh, every good multiplayer game bans it because it's just too OP, and the, only the Axis and the Common Turn can get it. So if allies D-Day, it's super easy to push out D-Day no matter what they do, basically. Now, Konev also has uh, Ranger. Now, I didn't get him up to 99% Pencil Leader. I switched uh, Mr. Rokosovsky and Konev out at the same time uh, with the tanks. That's not a problem, though. He has 100% XP gain for tanks. So, no más problemas. We're going to switch out uh, as many needed. And another four. Uh, go for these guys. Doesn't matter. Uh, now we will just continue grinding the same way and we will get Pencil Leader on him very quickly. All right, we have a level. <laughs> No, we have Pencil Leader and Ranger now on Konev 2. So, right now you have two good generals, and I'll be uh, 
just for the sake of it, I'll be upgrading Konev to the field marshal. No, we want to keep Konev as general and have Rakosovsky as field marshal. And we'll do so. And right. So also you could wait and level up his uh, skill here in Finland, which you could do. And uh, we'll see what he levels up to. Once you upgrade them, they get a, uh, not a permanent trait, but a temporary trait that is not accounting for any grinding amount, right? Like for example, the more traits you have, the slower you grind. The, this does not apply to that. Even though it's stacked with the other traits you have to grind for, it does not apply to that. It does not make you grind slower. So on your field marshal, for example, what do you want? You want, for example, Offensive Doctrine gives one attack. That's very good. Uh, reinforcement rate doesn't really matter on your tanks. For example, this is a tank general that we're going for. Uh, recovery rate is good. Breakthrough you'll probably never need. Uh, maybe you will, but I'm saying probably. I'd go for the attack and the recovery rate. Now you have a great field marshal. Oh, man, there.